Well, our old Snap-on guy, Les Perriot, dropped by with some more stuff to show us. What do we got this time? Well, Jay, we're going to talk about accessibility today. Okay. Snap-on's come out with about a half a dozen new tools that mm -hmm. are all about accessibility. This is your standard Snap-on ratchet, right. our okay. standard shallow socket, as you right. can see. And obviously, when you're working on today's cars, we both know that it's, it's pretty hard to get in these really tight areas and access fasteners. So this one and this prop we designed just to kind of show you. Go ahead and get that ratchet head in there and put it right down there on that okay, fastener. Okay, right in here. Okay. There's clearance, but very little clearance, and you can drop down on that okay, fastener. Okay, right. Okay. All right. So now if you want to go ahead and pick up our... Oh, a little tricky to get out. Okay. Our low profile, our new oh, line of low profile. So just go shorter. ahead and put that in there. You can see you automatically gain about a half an inch. Sure. And sometimes that half an inch can be absolutely critical to getting the job done. But how often do you take apart one of these, really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I see what you're, oh, I see. I was wondering what this, I said, they're going, what the heck? I think I knew a lot about tools. I, I have no idea. How does that work? Is it, <laughs> so it's just something to get. You know what? I'll leave it with you. Maybe you can use it as a yeah, gearshift knob say, or something. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm sure the guys have you used this thing's fantastic, Bob. you got to try this. Take it home. See how you like it. And see, it's, they'll come back and go, man, it was terrific. I used it. It really worked good. Because guys will lie. They won't tell you they don't know how to. I was thinking, what? It's I a Knuder valve sitting wrench. here, and I go, what kind of tool? What goes in here? All right. Very cool. All, All right. right. So next up, we've actually expanded on our line of 3-8 drive ratchets, obviously 3-8 being the most common sizes we use. And, right. And, and, and here's, a, here's a standard length like you just had in your hand. Uh -huh. And back a few years ago, we actually came out with one that was 12 inches long. And now you can see we've got our new super long 3 8 dry ratchet. Okay. So yeah. not only to help you get in those tighter areas where you got to reach way down in there, and we both know that really 90% of the job is just getting the fastener sure, broken sure. loose. Right, right. right. And then we did the same thing right here with our quarter inch drive line. Same thing. There's the standard right. length. And now we have our super long length there. And this is the Archimedes model. Boy, right I'm here. telling you, huh? Give me a lever and I'll move the world. Wasn't that Archimedes? Yeah, yeah there you go. Yeah. So, you know, so that's, uh, yeah, you can get some torque with that. That's, I'd be afraid of breaking something with this, but boy, you can get a lot of power with this, yeah. can't you? Okay. I, I, you know, five, six hundred foot pounds. Sure, sure. No okay. problem. All right, so next up, Snap On has recently redeveloped and redesigned our wire cutter. So mm -hmm. an age old tool, but now we have one that, I mean, in all seriousness, I'd like to say they're strong as a rhino and nimble as a cheetah. That's my line. That's good. Yeah, yeah. You should be a rap singer. <laughs> I don't know about that. Uh, I don't know. Do you want safety glasses? All right, We're sure. Do a why not? We're going to do, do a little cutting. Okay. There we go. So uh, I actually asked one of your guys to grab a set of their wire cutters. Right. And uh, they these were nice are the enough. old wire cutters. Right. So, so what I really want you to do is uh, just reach in there and and give that wire cut. You'll right cut here. it, but you'll see how much force it's going to actually take to do that. No, it takes a lot. Yeah, well, by design, I was hoping you couldn't no, cut it. No, I couldn't, no. All right, no. now pick up the new Snap-on right. vector wire cutters. Okay. And give that a try. Oh, wow. Yeah. Now, see, we should do it like an infomercial. This is how you do it on an infomercial. <laughs> you go, old wire cutters, oh, go everywhere. <laughs> oh, you can't, oh, you can't hold. They fall out of your hand. They hit you in the leg. These wire cutters are terrible. See, that's how, if you were doing an infomercial, that's how we would do it. I appreciate but the it, sales tip. It really is amazing. Where'd that piece of wire go? Uh, hopefully inside the box. Oh, there it is. Okay, there's a piece in there. But that is amazing. I mean, I really couldn't cut it with our old ones here. And these, so what is the difference? Is it the tour? Is it the length? Or is it just a sharper? A couple of things. It's, we moved the joint closer to the handle. Okay. So it gives you about 26% more, more yeah. power. And then uh, we actually make the jaws overlap about the width of a human hair. Yeah. So they actually kind of shear. As a matter of fact, uh, you know, I said strong like a rhino, right. nimble like a cheetah. Okay. So, you know, you see how fine that brass wire is, right. the copper wire is. Go ahead and just give that a cut anywhere. Anywhere you want to. So, there you go. Oh, am I not? Oh, there we go. That was too far. Go, go ahead all the way out to the very tip if you want to. It just doesn't matter where oh, you I cut see. it. Oh, I see. Yeah, I see. No, pretty good. Yeah. And then the last thing, just quickly with an auto tie. Okay. You know how when you cut those, they always get a sharp edge? Yeah. You're working down inside the, the right. engine compartment. You right. cut your hand wide open. Oh, cut your hand with well, those, those awful ones. are terrible. <laughs> so go ahead. Same thing there. Okay. Yeah, just right at the very tip if you want. Yeah, even right on the tip. Yeah, it does cut it. Very nice. Boy, that's the difference, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. So cool. moving on, Jay, floor jack's probably one of the most popular tools in the shop. Yeah. A lot of shops and a lot of our customers still don't actually have lifts. So this very popular tool, this is all about accessibility. Yeah, this is one place you don't want to cut corners, you know. I know a lot of guys go to the tool shack or whatever <clears> the name <throat> of the place is in your town, 
and they buy some foreign-made jack, and then, boom, you know, the thing slips out, or it slowly comes down on them, yeah. and they go, what's going on? You know, this is, <laughs> this is some place you don't want to cut corners. But this is not an air jack. This is just your basic one. Huh? Right. Well, it's, uh, it's our new redesigned floor jack. It's three and a half inches on the low when you first start out. Right. And oh. it'll lift all the way to 23 and a half inches. So we de redesigned this jack to fit under the vast majority of cars because of yeah. the plastic now, yeah, aerodynamics. So, yeah, so many cars you can't get. A, we, we had that problem the other day. We had to put a, uh, we had to get the car up on uh, blocks to put the, to put the jack on. There under, you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this one's a four to one ratio. So for, for every stroke of the handle, it actually goes up six inches. Right. Okay. So in less than four strokes, Right. You can honestly see that the thing's lifted to its full capacity. Right, right. Cool. So really sweet. Yeah, and then it just comes down. Boom. Very nice. And that's two tons. That's four thousand. Two pounds. tons. Yeah, yeah. And and all of our floor jacks are rated two tons at the lowest height as well as at the highest height. And you never want to use a jack without jack stand. Absolutely. Yeah. Great tip. Very cool. Great tip. Okay. Last thing we got, Jay, is we've redesigned our bore scope. Yeah, these are terrific. I understand we have a motorcycle over here we're going to yeah. go use it on. Yeah, let's take a look. We'll show people how this works. So, Jay, this is the new BK8500 bore scope from okay. Snap-on Tools. And you talk about something that's all about accessibility. You know, it doesn't matter if you want to use this inside of car doors, air conditioning ducts, right. up underneath dashes, in the engine compartment. I understand that we're going to look into this cylinder yeah, right here. Yeah, cylinder. Let's see, because... Put that in so, there. so one of the things that's actually pretty cool about this is oh look at that yeah okay. so yeah, I can it's completely wireless all right so go ahead put that in yeah. there yeah so I'll just take this thing with the light can you see other way allows us okay there there you can see the top of the piston there move around a little bit you see you see what's happened there there's a bit of scuffing on that piston uh, I don't know whether it's lack of lubrication or what it is but this engine's going to come apart that's for sure this is the first time we've looked in that cylinder move around a little bit more all right. What else you got? Want to see the top of the piston? I mean, look how clear it is. You can read the numbers on the top of the piston. I mean, it looks, I expected a lot of carbon. Pull back a little bit. It's a little, uh, right. okay. And move it around a little bit. Okay. Okay, you can get, get a look at it there. So, very cool. What's really cool about this one, when we updated it this yeah. time, Jay, since it is completely wireless, you can take movies, you can take photos, you can upload them and actually send them to the customer. And the great thing is, after you take pictures of your cylinder head, you can invite the neighbors and friends over and show them what the inside of your cylinder head looks like. Hours of fun. They'll enjoy seeing your vacation pictures. Yeah, so you had to look at theirs, now they can look at yours. Okay. But the best part is the fact that you can walk away from the, some, someone else can you know, the boss can look at it while the, you know, the mechanic moves it around, whatever it might be. That's really terrific. Absolutely. Well, that's really a neat thing. Very so there's cool. a half a dozen new items for you, Jay. Yeah, very, very cool. Very, very cool. This is, uh, we love having the Snap-on guy come by.